Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, just before I start with the manager rumor rumors, uh, approaches and stuff done, just want to say a big thank you to Vicky at the Bounds Hospice. Met up with it the other day. Um, a lot of time, nice always seeing people from face to face in flesh. So, Vicky, uh, for you and your, uh, your fella, uh, great to talk to you. Uh, positive feedback and, you know, good comments made. I, I do appreciate that I'm um, putting things out there for you and you do like it. So, I do appreciate that. So, big shout out to Bounds Hospice. Got a lot of time. We do a lot of good for the community. So, yeah, Vicky from Bounds Hospice. Appreciate it. It'd be nice to see you. I just said we're going to give a mention as well because you always watch it. So going on to Michael Duff, um, manager from Cheltenham, 44-year-old. Apparently the approach has been made to Cheltenham uh, town to see what, you know, where we can go from there. He is under contract, Michael Duff, until the end of next season, which there will be some kind of, I said, compensation fee to be made. So that'd be interesting to see what we do. He's not is believed to be one of the few managers that uh you know in the shortlist kind of thing. A couple are supposed to be believed to be like abroad, but with Brexit and everything like that, is it gonna alter where things are how we're gonna be structured regarding bringing the, their own staff in and uh, back room staff? So like I say, it's been linked with Barnes, it's been it's been linked with the clubs apparently, but Barnes have been the first club to actually make a formal approach through the eight channels to do it. Played at Burnley for 12 years. So, Northern Ireland international player, ex-player. Kept Cheltenham at Football League. Uh, great home record in 19-20 season. In that same season, he got him to the playoff semi-finals. Um, and then the year after, in 2021, he got him to the League 2 champions. So again, he knows the structure, he knows the you know progression, is the kind of thing. System he you know he favours uh, tactical wise is a three five two, apparently with you know wing backs attacking wing backs kind of thing, that high energy, high tempo, high press game, relatively strong at back in defence, structured, got a, a, a purpose, a way of playing. He likes to play passing football, but he's he's also not fleeting to like mix up and go direct when it is required so again a manager for me seems to be like wanted to improve and develop all the time i think we might devane as well an ex Cheltenham player if he's going to be involved in this team which is looking like that's the progression where it's going to be going thomas harbin should be a good foundation there uh, probably again from to send you know that you know people will be saying oh we don't really want him and but I think the club we are making a formal approach like now, doing it through right channels, is for showing the intent that this is how we want to go. Will it work? You know, I mean, when you look at when you look at his record with Cheltenham, no respect to Cheltenham, but in League Two, great home record, playoff semi final League Two, champion season after. He seems to have a structure and a purpose, and he wants to know how to play a game with wing backs and things. Not prepared, you know, not. Uh, not prepared to, st to stick to one passing way of football. If it's gonna, if it's not working, it'll go more direct. So he's got that bit in his locker as well. Whereas before we seem to have been, especially last season, seems to be playing this system all the time, regardless. And even when we're making substitutions, it was like for like, not to make necessarily make a change in influence on the game. So it'd be interesting. I mean, people, what's watching, watching it back, please leave uh, your comments below. Your thoughts about Michael Duff? Will he fit Bill? Is he is he a manager that you've always like rated? Always had an eye on it past, or never, he's been under radar kind of thing. He's never been at forefront. Again, it's all about opinions, all about comments. So yeah, pop, pop your comments, pop your opinions below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate it. Retain list will be coming out soon. Um, it looks like the Apple Army up to now might be going. But others, I think it's the weekend. The retain list is the deadline for clubs to get the, the, the list in. So it's going to be interesting next couple of days to see what's, who's going to be still at club and who's not. 
great to see that three players have already committed, have been extended in their time as well, uh, academy graduates. So, you know, that's Eliwell, Bramang and Winfield. Uh, Winfield, bearing in mind, has had a, a nasty injury since he come back. So, a lot of movement started to happen like now. Started to happen now. So, yep. Yeah. Michael Duff, Bounds the manager. Yes or no? Leave comments below. I do appreciate you watching. We'll get more content out there when I can. As soon as it comes available, then it'll be straight on, you know, around my work commitments and stuff like that. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Leave comments below. Michael Duff, Bounds the manager. Yes or no? Undecided. One thing left to say, you reds.